Okay, let's take a look at lab 6.5.13, create host records. So we are an IT administrator. You have two DNS, two servers and a DNS server that use static IP addresses on the 192.168.0 subnet. You plan to install three more servers soon, so you need to create DNS records for these servers on your PC server. Okay, so we're going to create some DNS records here. So we need to create IPv4 Active Directory Integrated Primary Reverse Lookup Zone. Okay, so let's, let's decrypt this a little bit. So we know it's IPv4. Active Directory is the directory service that Microsoft uses so that you can log into computers. So if you work for a company and you have a Windows computer, nine times out of 10, maybe even more than that, 99 times out of 100, they have a Windows server in the background called a domain controller that manages all of the user accounts and manages your rights and sharing and all of that. So we're using that for DNS and Active Directory actually requires DNS in order for it to work properly. So we need to create what's called a reverse lookup zone. That's going to, a reverse lookup is going to take the IP address and map it to a name. The forward lookup zone takes a name and maps it to an IP address. So let's get into our DNS server. So I'm gonna go into the Hyper-V manager, go to Corp server, and we are running on, let's make sure we grab the right server. So we just have the three servers. And so it's going to be running on the Corp DC. You'll see that a lot where DC for domain controller. That's what that means. And usually DNS is running on the domain controller. It doesn't have to, but if you're in a small network, you're going to combine services. If you're in a big company, you'll probably break it out. So I'm going to go tools. And I'm going to go down to DNS. And now we can see our DNS server that's running on Corp DC. And we have forward lookup zones and reverse lookup zones. So let's look at our forward lookup zones. We're creating stuff for, let's see, what network is it again? Here we go. Corp net.local, which is there. And if I look at that, I can see it's using the 192.168 addresses. So this is our forward lookup zone. This name, CorpDC2, is mapped to this IP address. I'm going to look at the reverse lookup zone. It sounds like that hasn't been created yet. And let's make this bigger. And yeah, that's the case. So we do not have, you can see this is in reverse. So we don't have a 192.168.0. We have a 192.168.10, but not a zero. So I'm going to right click on the reverse lookup zone and choose new zone. And that's going to get me into this little wizard. So we are creating a primary zone. That's part of this is it's a new, new zone. And we're just going to take the defaults here. So it's going to send it out to all the DNS servers and we're creating an IPv4 look, reverse lookup zone. And now the IP, so we're just doing the network ID portion, which is determined by the subnet mask. This is a class C subnet mask, 24 bits. So the first three octets are our network ID. So 192.168.0. You notice that it is reversing that because it's a reverse lookup zone. So it's reversing that, but just type it in here. Then you have to type all that in. It does it for you. Next, we'll just take the defaults and finish. Okay, so now we have the reverse lookup zone. So you can manually create stuff in the reverse lookup zone, but we need to create a records and what you'll notice is when we create those A records, it will have a little checkbox to also create the reverse lookup entry. So we'll go back to our corpnet.local. That's what we're doing here. And we need to create some new records. So there are a couple of different ways you can get to this. I just clicked on, right-clicked on corpnet.local 
and it shows me all the different types of entries I can make. So we're going to do a new host, which is called an A name, and that is the main name. That's what everything needs an A name, and then you can build off of that. That's our foundation. Okay, so the name, we're going to start with corp server. So corp server, and you notice this section right here, this is what's called the FQDN. That's short for fully qualified domain name. And a fully qualified domain name takes our host name and then puts our domain name after it. So corpserver.corpnet.local. That's our FQDN. Okay, IP address is 192.168.0.10. And I'm going to check this box to create the reverse lookup record. That PTR, the pointer, is referring to the reverse lookup. So if I hit add host and hit OK, it will have created that. Let's add them all, then we can take a peek and see this. So we're going to go corp files 16, put in the IP address 0.12, and create the pointer record. Um, what gave me that weird error? Let's look here. Is this not created? Did I type it in wrong, maybe? Probably typed it in wrong. The Kadingus. But anyway, we'll keep going. Let's make sure I do this right this time. I probably got in too big of a hurry. So corp files 12, 192. Oh, I probably did 198. 192.168.0.13. Let's do the pointer now. There we go. So I obviously typed in the IP address wrong. So corp DHCP, it's going to be 192.168.0.14. And last but not least is corp web. Corp web 192.168. At host. Okay, so let's look in. Let's look in our corp net local. Let's see which one did I miss up on the sixteen. Yeah, see how I did one ninety eight. So I'm going to fix that. I double clicked on it. I'm going to change this to one ninety two. Dot one sixty eight. So if I hit apply and OK, now we should be good. 192, 168. If we look at the reverse looks, lookup zone, I have everything in there. And so I'm good to go. Let's check my answers. And yep, we're all done.